All right, welcome. We're going to be analyzing horizontally launched projectile uh, problems, just like launching a coin off a table. And you're going to need notes and a calculator. Pause this video as we go along to capture the right notes and to try the sample problems. All right, so you've been introduced to this. We, we shot some coins off of the edge of a table, and they were launched in the, initially in the horizontal direction. That's the X component. And as they travel, they follow this parabolic trajectory. Uh, once the projectile is in free fall, the only force acting on it is gravity, and gravity causes it to accelerate downward. But its horizontal motion uh, maintains a constant velocity. And so when we look at that, the velocity vectors initially, um, the projectile, once it's launched, only has velocity in the x direction. And then a moment in time later, it's traveling the same uh, has the same horizontal velocity. That's constant. So you can you can calculate that that velocity by just knowing the distance it travels in the x direction. That's the horizontal displacement divided by the time. But as it falls, gravity accelerates it at about 10 meters per second each second. So the velocity initially in the y direction is zero. It's not falling initially at time zero. But one second later, it'll speed up to 10 meters per second, two seconds later, 20 meters per second, three seconds later, 30 meters per second, because it's increasing its velocity by 10 meters per second each second due to gravity. That's the acceleration in the y direction only. So that gives us the two velocity vector equations. And you can see uh, the, velocity, the horizontal velocity vector is always the same length because it's a constant, but the vertical velocity increases as it falls because it's speeding up due to gravity. Now, if you want to look at the, the vertical and horizontal components of, the, of its displacement, you could tell, just looking at the diagram, um, the object falls a vertical distance and it travels a horizontal distance. So we'll call the vertical component the y component, the horizontal component the x component. We know that it, uh, in the y direction there's an acceleration, little g, at 10 meters per second squared. But in the x direction there is no acceleration because it has constant horizontal velocity. And so based on that, that means that the, the vertical displacement, the distance it travels in the y direction, can be uh, solved for by just saying 5 times t squared. And the horizontal velocity is simply uh, its horizontal velocity times time gives you the horizontal displacement, dx equals vxt. These two equations we're going to use for all of the future problems. Um, and they're very simple to derive uh, just by knowing what we set up at the beginning. So make sure you have those written out. Now I want to go over a couple sample problems. We're going to start with this problem. Um, all right. Let me just fold this up so you can see it better. All right. This is like your lab. Let's say a coin is launched off of the edge of a table, okay? Just like you have here. And if the table uh, off a 1.25 meter tall table, so if that's the height of the table, you know, 1.25 meters, that's the distance that the coin is going to fall in the vertical direction. So that is your uh, dy variable. So write that down as your given. So we know that the coin falls. So if we know the height of the tabletop, that's the vertical displacement that the coin is going to fall. That's easy. Um, you shoot it off the table and it has an initial horizontal velocity of 7.5 meters per second. So that's the Vx. That's the velocity in the x direction, 7.5 meters per second. So let's just write that down as our given. So we have two bits of given. And the question is, can we hit a target down here, right? We want to do some target practice. This is what we're going to kind of be doing. You know, will, where will it land? So how far does it travel horizontally before landing? We kind of want to figure out where is it going to land here? It's going to hit the ground somewhere over here. So that's like the distance that it's going to travel in the x direction. We don't really know that distance, right? We know it's going to launch from the edge of the table and it's going to hit the ground. How far is that in the x direction? It's not the same distance as it travels in the y direction. So that becomes our unknown. So look at the equations. We have two equations. One equation 
is that the distance in the x direction equals the velocity in the x direction times time. So let's solve this equation. Distance in the x direction equals 7.5, right, meters per second times the time. Problem is we don't know the time that it's in the air. So what do we do? Go to the second equation. The second equation we had was that the distance that an object falls vertically, dy, its vertical displacement, is equal to 5 t squared. So we're going to have to use both equations, two equations I had you write out earlier. There they are. Just a quick reminder. The, the distance it travels in the y direction, the distance it travels in the x direction, right? What we call the vertical displacement and horizontal displacement. All right, now let's substitute our dy, which is 1.25 meters equals 5 times t squared. Let's isolate the variable t squared. Divide both sides by 5, so you get 1.25 divided by 5. And now to get rid of the square power, we have to take the square root of both sides. Square root of t squared is t. So now we've solved for it, and you're going to need your calculator here. Let's figure out square root of 1.25 divided by 5. So I'll hit second x squared. I get the square root button. 1.25 divided by 5. And I get 0 0.5. Oh, nice even number. I'm just going to add an extra 0 just to so because I know it's exactly half a second. It's a half a second. So if this coin just fell off the edge of the table, this coin just fell off the edge of the table. It would fall and hit the ground in a, in a half a second, 0.50 seconds. But if it's launched with some velocity, we learn that, hey, the time that it's in the air is the same, same amount of time. Time is a scalar quantity. It doesn't have direction. Velocity and displacement have direction. They're vector quantities. That's why we have the x and y components, but time does not. So this time variable, you can substitute into your other equation. The time in the y direction is the same as the time in the x direction. The time it takes to fall vertically is the same time it takes to travel horizontally. So now we are almost done. dx equals 7.5 meters per second times 0.5 seconds. Your seconds will cancel. You'll be left with meters. 7.5 times 0.5 gives you a dx of 3.75 meters. So if we were doing target practice, we would know while the table's 1.25 meters tall, the coin actually shoots out a total of 3.75 meters before hitting the ground, the dx. You're going to follow this kind of logic for a few future problems. Uh, reference this again if you get stuck.